Hello, cryptocurrency fans. This is your host, Crypto Trader. In today's episode, we're going to cover a brief overview of Monero, some of the exchanges that allow you to trade it, and also an easy way to buy Monero without having to use those exchanges. Today's January 30th, 2017. I hope everyone had a great weekend and enjoying the start to the week. Happy New Year to all my Chinese subscribers and viewers, and also a special thank you to all my subscribers that have joined this channel commented, and liked my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on that subscribe button as you're watching this video. You'll be notified every time a video is uploaded. So Monero, ticker symbol XMR, is a secure, private, untraceable currency that is open source and freely available to all. We know that all cryptocurrencies are open source and freely available, but what makes this unique is that it's secure, private, and untraceable. The name Monero simply means coin, in Esperanto. Monero is also the cryptocurrency choice for the dark web drug dealers on the dark web black market just like Bitcoin was to Silk Road before the government shut it down and confiscated all its Bitcoins. And it's also the preferred crypto coin because of it being more private, fully anonymous, and virtually untraceable. With Monero, I only know of two popular exchanges that offer the ability to trade, and they are Poloniex and Kraken. Polonius seems to outweigh Kraken in volume by more than 90%, with, which is basically you know, very high for only one exchange to have that much control on the volume. And it's very easy to have Monero price manipulated for anyone that has a very deep pocket. Polonius also does not allow you to sell coins for a fiat currency or even deposit fiat. You actually have to deposit one of the cryptocurrencies they accept, which is a good amount of them. And when you sell, you can only sell for different cryptocurrencies that it's paired with or what's, what they offer, what's called a USDT, also known as Tether USD or USD Tether. Basically, it's an altcoin that's pegged to the US dollar. So if you try and transfer USDT to an exchange that does not support USDT, you might likely lose your funds and your USDT will be stuck in the crypto world somewhere with no possibility of possibly getting it back. It has happened to some people, uh, so I would highly recommend doing some research on that. Um, so it's best to really transfer the type of cryptocurrency that your exchange or your wallet will support. Poloniex, to me, also seems a place where a lot of pump and dumps happen on some of the altcoins they allow you to trade. I believe there's too much insider trading scam that happens on Poloniex. One reason I don't invest or trade in every cryptocurrency is that they are like trying to hold water in your hands they will eventually slip through your fingers before you know it. So be very careful about what cryptocurrencies you're investing in long term. Kraken on the other hand allows fiat deposits and also allows you to sell any of the cryptocurrencies they have for fiat. Unlike Poloniex where you have to deposit cryptocurrencies and when you sell you get Tether USD. That's probably the reason why I will not use Poloniex. I like the ability to sell for fiat and be able to transfer fiat right to my bank account. So if I was to start another account, it would probably be Kraken. As of right now, there might not be any problems with the Tether USD, but just like any crypto coins, it could eventually end in a bad way. Also remember that most Monero wallets are on MyMonero.com and under the visibility of the core development team. Um, in my opinion, that's a red flag for a core development team to have that much insight on the wallets that they have on their network. I guess that's why they inform you that you know, it has considerable risk in using my Monero for large amounts. So if you use MyMonero.com uh, to create that wallet, do not store, do not store a large amount of uh, Monero coins on that site. There are basically two ways to buy Monero without having to use Kraken or Poloniex. Um, keep in mind that they are not cheap to do it this way, but you know, they, they might be the fastest way to, to buy it if, if need be. Uh, first would be to use Monero.com. Um, just remember that this is for non-US or non-North Korean citizens. Hopefully that'll change later on, but as of right now, they will not allow US or North Korean citizens to use their service. Um, so first is basically to set up you know, MyMonero.com and, and get a wallet. Um, then you would go to MoneroDirect.com and enter your purchase amount. Then you would enter your MyMonero wallet address. Then it will prompt you to set up an OK.com account and fund that account. Then you would submit your order and your Monero would be deposited 
to your My Monero wallet. So let's go ahead and take a look at that briefly. Um, so we got MyMonero.com here, and basically, you know, once you click on create an account, it's very self-explanatory. Um, it would probably just take you a couple seconds to set up this account. Um, and, you know, just read some of the information here, talking about, you know, take note of your private login key. Um, and then if you scroll down, um, it does have your private key there, but this isn't something that I'm going to be using, to be honest with you. It's just for, for demo purposes. Um, but that would be your, your private key there. Um, and then it'll, it'll basically generate your, your wallet for you. Once you do that, then what you're going to do is go to MoneroDirect.com. And this is the website right here, MoneroDirect.com. And then click on Create a New Order. Once you do that, it, it'll basically tell you, you know, the minimum price, the maximum price, um, and then the price of Monero. So, you know, they're selling it for $13.05, and that's in euros, but let's go ahead and change it to USD. So $13.71. If we really take a look at Monero and what the price is, the price is $12.79. Um, so there is a very large markup uh, to use my Monero or MoneroDirect.com. Um, but, you know, let's just say hypothetically, you know, we're going to purchase $100 of uh, USD worth of Monero. That's about 7.294 Moneros that it would give us. I already have my Monero address there that I copied and pasted earlier. We're going to hit submit. And then it'll take you to uh, the page that basically says, you know, payment by OK, OK Pay. Um, it has the amount that we're purchasing, $100 worth. It has a wallet address that it's going to that I created for MyMonero.com. Um, and then, unfortunately, it does say, you know, recommend it for U.S. states, but, you know, it's not going to work at all, to be honest with you. There is a fee that you have to pay to OKPay.com. It's $0.51, cents, um, and, and that fee can fluctuate depending on how much you're actually buying. Um, when you hit Select, it'll actually take you to a screen where you could either create a, a login for OKPay, or you could actually, if you already have an account, you would just log in through here. Um, but once you actually, you know, put that, put that information in, you click on create an account, um, then it should take you right to that account and be able to fund it right from there and then be able to transfer the Moneros right to your account. But, we you know, we do have a nice disclosure here where it states, unfortunately, we're not able to provide financial services to U.S. residents due to bank restrictions at the moment. But it tells me to, you know, feel free to set up the account now and, and kind of wait until that restriction is lifted. Who knows when it will be lifted, um, if it is lifted soon. It's a great way to buy Monero um, without having to set up any type of an exchange account. So that's that's definitely the, the one way to do it. Uh, the second way to do it would be uh, Shapeshift.io. And don't worry about the, the websites. I'm going to put a link in the description um, so you have those for easy access. Uh, but if you go to Shapeshift.io, now remember it's not .com, it's .io. Uh, what you can do is you can basically convert one cryptocurrency to another and there are about 38 cryptocurrencies to choose from. So that's really a good amount that you could kind of pair them and, and trade from one to the other. Um, and if you haven't set up a My Monero wallet, um, wallet ID or wallet account, you know, you want to do that first. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at Shapeshift. So this is what the website is going to look like. Um, and it says, you know, choose which assets to trade right over here. Um, so it's asking me, you know, what, what am I depositing and what do I want to receive? So I'm going to go ahead and click on what I want to deposit and then it's going to take you to the list of different cryptocurrencies that that they do offer uh, so we're going to say that you know we're going to deposit Bitcoin because it seems to be very popular what do I want to receive I want to receive Monero click on Monero there and then I'm going to say continue now it wants my Monero address so I already have that. Let me go ahead and copy that again and paste it. So we'll go ahead and paste that. It also wants my Bitcoin address. Where are the Bitcoins coming from? Or where is the other type of currency that I'm exchanging coming from? And of course, I already have that. Um, so if you're using Coinbase, you know, you, know, you already have a, a Bitcoin wallet address, so you would just copy and paste that right from Coinbase or any other exchanges that you're using. Uh, don't worry about the payment ID. The payment ID would be if you're actually transferring uh, one cryptocurrency into a, an exchange, but we're not doing that. We're just transferring it right into my Monero wallet. 
Of course, you got to click on I agree to the terms, hit start transaction. And as long as this load, it's going to prompt us to basically, it's going to give us an address. Um, and here is an address for us to send the Bitcoins to. So what I would have to do is go to my Coinbase.com account or any other um, exchange that you have and then send those Bitcoins right to this address that's highlighted. Um, and it does tell you the, the you know, how much you can actually send, uh, send up to um, the 1.64, um, That's the max that you could actually send. Uh, the minimum that you can send is 0 0.00055 coins. Um, and of course there is a processing fee if you want to process fast. Um, it's really not much, but it's you know, 0 0.00025218 Bitcoins. So it's really not that much at all. Um, but you know, we're not gonna really, I'm not gonna um, buy any Monero right now. You know, I'll wait for the price to kind of come down. Um, I think at 12.79, it's, it's a little high, but we're gonna take a look at the, the chart and kind of take a look at maybe the last couple of days and see exactly what 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 what, what it has done, um, but that's kind of the you know the two easy ways to to buy it. Um, I don't really think there's any other way that that I'm aware of. And if you guys have heard a different way, an easy way uh, to be able to purchase it, um, you know, please let me know in the comments below. So let's go ahead and take a look at Monero, and of course it's about twelve dollars and seventy nine cents right now. Um, and of course, you know, these are the two exchanges that offer you the ability to trade Monero. Uh, Kraken is in US dollar and Poloniex, you have to actually do it in BTC or another cryptocurrency that is paired with. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the USD, USD price chart. All right, so this is a six hour chart. Um, let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit to kind of see where it's been in the past. And of course, not much of a graph there. So it looks like, you know, I hit that really nice high up here at 1949 and, and really downtrended um, the whole time all the way to nine, 988. Bottom out, bottomed out right at 988 there. And then it looks like it had a nice bounce from that 988 to 1350. So I mean, that, that's a really nice gain there. Um, and just you know one two in about three days worth there But after that it looked like it just kind of went sideline and kind of hugged that $12 range Dipping below it a little bit going up above it um, But then it looks like this uh, on the 27th there it hit $11.60 and then kind of went up to $12.97 a little over a dollar gain, uh, which isn't too bad at all um, But I don't know I would need to see more stability or I would need to see it kind of test um, this low here in order for me to even consider getting into it or you know using um, any of those uh, easy exchanges uh, to be able to purchase the Monero. That's about all that I have for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Also, please share your insight on the topics that I just covered, whether it's good or bad. All comments are welcomed. Stay tuned for another video on Wednesday. This is Crypto Trader. Until then, Stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day.